Hey there guys, Jason here, and today I'm going to be talking about Ronin by Frank Miller. Um, this was a book that was suggested to me by a, a friend that I work with at the nursing home, and uh, he said that he actually read it for a college course, which is pretty cool, um, pretty cool for a college professor to suggest or have his students read a, uh, a work like this, a graphic novel, instead of your basic, uh, you know, novels and whatnot. Um, but he, uh, this friend suggested that I read it, and I was not disappointed. It was actually really worth it. Um, the art was done by Lynn Varley. Um, I don't know who that is. I've just heard that name. Um, but I do recognize at least that uh, the fact that it's Frank Miller and Lynn Varley is a pretty powerful combination in the uh, comic book world. Um, the story uh, revolves around this... Ronin, or, well, he's a samurai in the beginning. Um, he is dedicating his life to the service of Lord Ozaki, who needs protection from a demon named Agate. Um, uh, this demon, Agate, has a sword that is very powerful, and um, it, uh, it needs the blood of the innocent, and if it collects enough of it, it will be able to kill him, actually, so the demon holds on to the sword. Well, Lord Ozaki gets a hold of that sword, and needs protection from uh, the demon Agate's minions. Um, so he has this samurai come with him to help protect him. And uh, it ends up that Lord Ozaki gets killed by Agate. And uh, this samurai takes the sword and runs away before it can get stolen. Um, and this is all set in 13th century Japan. But then uh, the person... Is how you realize that there's a person having a dream and that this whole Ronin samurai um, 13th century Japan is a dream and you realize that it's someone actually having a dream in the 21st century um, it's a very odd situation because this person doesn't have any limbs they were born without limbs um, but they have an abnormally strong mind they have uh, basically uh, telekinesis to an extent and that was a, that was a big twist I was not expecting that I I thought that uh, the story would jump back and forth through time maybe but I didn't expect it to be there was a character having a dream um, but this person uh, born with without limbs and with telekinesis his name is Billy and he uh, he actually is working with a supercomputer this highly intelligent computer to develop uh, different types of technology and whatnot to help save the world that has plunged into a an amazingly uh, uh, depressed time in life. Uh, it was just attacking, it was this depression that affected the entire world and there was just no good place to work or even really to live. Uh, it was just a really bad situation. So this technology was needed in order to help mankind. Um, so the rest of the story is uh, trying to tell you how this samurai, this ronin, ends up uh, tying into the future. So it was a really interesting story to read. Um, to see how all the pieces fell together was really unique. Um, especially tying something, you know, that's 13th century, like, uh, you know, a samurai, with 21st century, you know, science fiction technology. That was really cool how they did it and how they pulled that off. Um, however, the story, you know, was great, but the art was what de uh, detracted from things for me. Lynn Varley, I, I don't know if this was just a stylistic choice, but the art style in this one was not very good, in my opinion. Um, it was very, I don't know how to explain it, it was very blotchy. Um, there was a lot of excess lines that didn't need to be there, and they kind of made it hard to tell what was going on. It kind of made everything look like this one big um, pile of goop to an extent. And I don't know if that was an artistic choice trying to show the reader, oh, hey, this world is going to crap and everything around it is, it, it looks awful. Everything looks like a tumor and an, uh, an, uh, an unnormal growth, really. Um, 
but it just came across as sloppy and I didn't really enjoy that very much. Um, but aside from that, really, this was a great one. I highly recommend it if you haven't checked this out already. Um, that's about all I have because it's just a fantastic story. Um, the art is a little shaky in my opinion, but you need to read this for the story because it's great. Uh, Frank Miller did a fantastic job. Um, well, that's about all I have for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any more Frank Miller stories or Lynn Varley uh, artwork to recommend for me, leave them down in the comments. Um, I'll be more than willing to check those out. But <laughs> thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh,